Welcome back, my drama spec pack. Welcome to my second LP, Kirby's Adventure for the NES. <clears throat> uh, I had a couple of missed recordings here, and so I got a little bit done. Hopefully, this will not be a missed recording. And so, yeah, let's start this. <laughs> Level 1, Vegetable Valley. <clears throat> yeah. And in we go. Let's get started here. This is our first enemy, Waddle Doo. Gives us the beam power. We just destroyed a Waddle Dee and a Bronto Burt. Actually, uh, wait. Crap. There we go. I like uh, spark power because it gives you a shield. Like, no one can get through it. No, come on. <laughs> there we go. I'll try to show off all the, uh, all the powers. But right now, I just want to get back into the swing of things and play a little, little game. Yeah, like, like I can play games. You guys all know I suck. And off we go. I think this will probably be the only episode I record right now. That was a maximum tomato. It will refill your life completely. Refill it to the maximum. Because that's what tomatoes are good for. Okay. This, with this being an emulator, I somehow cannot ever make it very high at the end of each level. Uh, crane fever, this can get you a couple extra lives. The bigger ones give you two lives. Oh, hold down A. The bigger ones are also harder to hang on to. I'm not getting that. But, um, so, yeah, I don't know. Yeah. Anyway, <clears throat> I'm excited to get back into the swing of things. Hopefully. Um, if anybody saw my update video. Uh, damn it. Uh, if anybody saw my update video, uh, you'll know that, well, just go watch it. I'll put an annotation in somewhere. I don't know where. And get rid of all this crap. Uh, Kirby is a really fun game. It's easy for anyone to get the feel of, as well as, like, like, experienced gamers, hardcore gamers, are, they love Kirby. I don't care who you are. You, ah, no! Come on. Oh, well. I'll just take this guy out the old-fashioned way. Yeah, just pretty much stand in the middle. He normally doesn't go normally. He normally does not go in the middle, so. And he'll give you Crash, which I think looks a lot cooler in this uh, version of the game than in uh, pretty much any other version. Like, Kirby goes all over the screen, and it's just awesome. Uh, this is not an, a blind LP. I played this game before as well as Nightmare and Dreamland for the GBA. And the two are very, very similar. So, Oh, uh... Okay. Hold on. A little trick about the guy riding the apple. If you just attack, you'll destroy the apple. But if you suck him up, then suck up the apple... Uh... Yeah, like that. That was considered an attack, I guess. But you'll be able to get the apple. And sometimes he rides um, on maximum tomatoes. So. Ah. Forgot to jump. Huh? 
and I think I'll just do, you know, however much I decide to do, but, what is, this been going like, what, five minutes now, something like that, uh, I'll just do this first level, world, whatever you want to call it. I can't reach that. Uh, yeah, but Kirby is a really enjoyable game for pretty much anybody. If this is your, if this is a, like your first game, it's easy to pick up and go. And like I said, everybody else just loves it. So, well, I haven't met someone who does not like Kirby. So, yeah, let's put it that way. Uh, sorry, I'm just quiet. I'm, I'm a bit sick. I have a bit of a cold, but also I'm usually quiet when I play games anyway, because I never play them with anybody else or have an audience or anything, so usually by my lonesome. And so I'm used to being quiet, but I'm not normally quiet, though. Which is, I think this is pretty odd. But like I said, I, I'm a little, I have a cold, so maybe that has something to do with it. <clears throat> and I'm done with fetch. Wait, not not yet. We'll have one more level in Vegetable Valley, right? Yes, yes. And what is this? The museum. This is not going to be a 100% run. Just so you all know. Uh, you can unlock various little things like this. Uh, like, see that like star and lightning bolt pattern up there? Uh, a lot of times that'll like be blocking your way like it was for this. Like this is over here. Uh, there are uh, secret switches you can find and press. I'm not going to do all that. I probably could, but... Like I said, I don't want to. And I've noticed uh, that there are a lot of people doing uh, Emerald for Let's Play. If I would have known that, I wouldn't have done Emerald yet, and I would have done, like, Crystal or something. But, oh well, it doesn't matter anymore, right? <laughs> uh... This used to be my favorite power. I don't know why. It just looks cool, I guess. But it does, I guess, give you a bit of a shield. I can't use it in mid-air. Hey! Stupid. And I think there are a few people also doing, uh... Uh... Let's Plays of... Kirby... Kirby's Adventure. What are you doing? Oh, I totally missed that. No, keep going. Just keep going. And... I don't care. <laughs> Five again. <clears throat> uh, yeah, so... Looks like I just have... The boss. Which is... Wispy Woods. If you've ever played a Kirby game, you've battled Wispy. Ah. It's pretty much the same thing every single time, and I'm about to die. Never said this was going to be a perfect run, did I? <laughs> no, I did not. I still have three lives, though. So, hit me with your best shot. And that was all she wrote. Oh, poor Wispy's crying. Oh. Uh, I don't know if you can in the original uh, Kirby Superstar, but in Kirby Superstar Ultra, I know, like, to help heal your partner, I don't even know if you get partners in the, 
the original, but to heal your partner in Kirby Superstar Ultra for the DS, you can kiss them, which I thought was kind of weird, but whatever. Uh, but yeah, guys, this is the start of my new LP, Kirby's Adventure. I hope you guys will stay tuned, rate, comment, sub, do all that kind of stuff, and eat nachos. <laughs> Later, guys. Thanks for coming back. Thanks for staying with me.